Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. My, I know I am. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana and I'm on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over 100K in car loans, student loans, and credit cards. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me. So we are officially at our budget closeout for September. But before I get to the final numbers, I need to finish this week off. So let me grab some stickers. I can promise you I'm gonna be over. I can already see it. So I can't find my yellow and my blue. So I'm going to use these two colors to represent them. Then of course I have my no budget stickers and my little icons here. I can't believe I can't find them. See, this is what happened. Oh, wait, wait, I found the yellow ones. So I'll take the orange out, put this one here. At least I found that. I might've finished them last time, but I really just don't remember. <laughs> so I have my cute little micro mini happy planner. That was a sneak peek of October. It's not going well, guys. It's not going well at all. So we are in our last week which is the 27th to the 30th. Okay, so get to the second page. So for the 27th, I went to the Dollar Tree. For the life of me, I can't remember what I got at the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna put it under personal because I don't remember. That's what happens when you move on and don't finish. So, so we're gonna do the Dollar Tree. And it was a dollar oh seven. Maybe I should up my personal and food because I seem the last two months I've been going above what I should. And I don't want to budget for lower when I'm going obviously going over. So Maybe in November, I'll budget for higher, especially since it's the holidays. I'm probably gonna have to budget for a bit higher than what I have been budgeting. So the 28th, there was quite a few things. 28th, I'm going to put that under groceries because most of it was either dish, um, dish detergent or um, paper towels. I'm sure if you guys saw my CVS haul, from the last from the last one, I'll link it to someone in the eye in the sky. You saw me grab some of those things, so I'm just gonna write those out. And I really just consider those um I consider those groceries, even though they're household, but I don't have a household category. So I put them under grocery. Then we got another one. Okay, so these are the three for CVS. I'm getting close to finishing this one up. Okay, and then the other transaction from that day was from food, which is in the orange. I went to McDonald's. And it was 840. Any way to use these stickers up? I got a whole bunch, so. Yeah. And then I went to, I'm gonna put this under personal. I went to Lowe's, it wasn't for me, it was for my mom. And she did reimburse me the money, but I'm just putting this on here 
just because I did use my card to get it. So I just want to tell myself that I used it. But I did deposit the money back. So technically, technically I didn't, I don't need to put it here, but I would rather just put it here. She needed, she couldn't find her step stool because she's doing decorations. So yeah. So it's kind of like a wash this one, but better to put it on here than not and try to figure out why. So that was all the 28th. Luckily, that's all I did because there's not enough room here anymore. And then we have the 29th, which was me putting gas into my tank because I was literally on E. And guys, I'm going to have to make it a mission to do half a tank and then fill up because the, gra the gas is so expensive now starting to become over three dollars and that's expensive for florida so yeah i had to borrow i didn't even have the money i didn't get paid until this day so i borrowed 10 bucks from my stepfather which i will put the you guys will get a little bit more detail in my paycheck one which i don't know if i'm gonna put before or after this i don't know yet so but it explains why. So that was it for the 29th. And then the 30th had nothing. So I get to put a no spin on that one. I don't have a lot of no spin days. But better a couple than none. So that's why I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Going to put the little icons here. Icons, icons. I want to use these up too. So I'm going to use this shopping bag here for Dollar Tree. Use this for Lowe's. And then the little spoon and fork here. And then these were shopping for groceries. So I'm going to put them right here. That's all right. And then yeah, I'm a whole mess here, but gas station. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so that is my entire week. I mean month, not week. <laughs> yeah, my entire month, I was able to finish one of these debt trackers. I'm close to finish the others. Whew, there was a lot of things going on and a lot of spending that I shouldn't have been spending, guys. Whew. We shall see what happens in this in October. But, um, so I'm going to take you to finish out my budget layout. But first, I need to calculate all of this so I know what to put on my total. So I will be right back. It'll be a second for you, a little longer for me. So I'll see you later. Okay, guys. So I am back. So here is my monthly budget. And I'm going to put right here what the actuals were because in this monthly budget sheet, um, the budget mom didn't put that here. So I'm going to do that myself. So for paycheck one, I got my notes here because I will not remember anything. Okay, so for the first paycheck, I got $944.44. The second paycheck, I got more. It was $1,025.85. And then for extra, for extra, I'm including the returned merchandise that I got from Walgreens, as well as those two checks from my refinance car. So those two checks came out to be $760.71 plus the $3193 plus $1596 came out to be $808.60. Now this is just an anomaly because of my refinance. 
I didn't, don't get anywhere near this amount. So I'm going to add that all up. Sixty equals I got two thousand seven hundred and seventy eight dollars and eighty nine cents this month. Which I wish I could get that all the time, but who knows one day. One day it might. So this is the actual that I was working with. So hopefully I'm not too much in the red when it comes down to things. So, all right, so let's get to fixed expenses. Now, my fixed expenses were my rent, which I always pay 300, and then my electric, which was the same for 175.28. Sorry about that. My mom's phone is going off. For water, I don't think I got salt this month. So, yeah, I didn't get salt this month. So, I budgeted for it, but I never really got it. So, hey, less money to spend. Then the Geico was 98.02. And Verizon came out to be, they tried charging me that 399 again, but it actually came out to be 71. 98 let's see if they do it try to do it again because they done it in the last three months so i'm going to calculate all this 300 plus 175 28 plus 9802 equals 645.28 cents which was a lot cheaper than what i budgeted for And then I'm going to go to my debt first before I go to this one because I know that one's way over budget. I can guarantee it. So Naviant stayed the same at 137 Carmax I paid... Carmax I did not pay the 308 I paid the minimum that was due, 333 cents. JetBlue... Jet Blue, I believe I paid in August, so I did not have to pay anything. And it's looking like I did not pay the 137, I only paid 100 for the Naviant, which is even better. Then we have Hot Topic, which did not pay. Target. Target, I don't remember if it was 49 or 50. I don't think I, I paid it in the previous check in August, so I don't know why I put it down here. Capital One. Capital One. I paid the minimum payments. Firestone, I paid that baby off. 265 all before the interest hits in December so I paid it off at least three months beforehand so I'm so excited yay you guys saw my reaction if you saw my previous videos I don't remember which one it was but I was super excited so Amazon was 29 and then auto my capital one that's my new one the minimum payment is 263, but I obviously took those two paychecks and used that to pay it before it was due. So I took, let's see, 80860 minus the 3193 minus the 1596, $760. 
and 71 cents went straight towards this car loan. So now I don't owe anything until November, but I'm obviously, like I said in my budget video, my October budget video, that I'm gonna be paying again on this. That way they can get this car paid down. So yay. All right, so I'm gonna add it all up. 100 plus 300, 100 plus 333 plus 25 plus 25 plus 265 plus 29 plus 760 71 that's wow 1505 dollars and four cents went towards my debt this month wow okay that's a big number okay now for the first part and let me get my red my red pen of doom here. That's what I call it. Groceries. Groceries were actually in the green. It came out to be $229.40. This one I usually don't have to worry about going in the red. Gas was in the green too for thirty-four oh two. Now we go on to the red marker. Mm -hmm. Personal, I had budgeted fifty dollars for the month, and I actually spent four hundred, guys, four hundred seventy-six dollars and seventy-six cents. Now, mind you, this is also including the Lowe's transaction that I got money back for, but I, like I said, I'd rather just have it there so I know about it. But if I were to calculate it without that, I mean, I'll still be in the 400s, but 25, 54, it would have been 451.22, but I'm leaving it like that. <sighs> I, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just gonna have to up my my spending and personal, my personal and eating out. I try so hard, but it just doesn't work out. So now we go on to the food. Food was better than the personal at $208.31. Any little Kind of victory is better than nothing. It was $200 less, but still better, I guess. So let me calculate this together. Yeesh. Six, 76 plus 208. Wow. I'm gonna put this in blue. Nine hundred forty-eight dollars and forty-nine cents is what I spend in all four of those categories. Not good. Not good at all. Ugh. I don't know how I did this to myself. I probably don't even want to know how I did this to myself. But it happened, guys. It happened. Okay, so I don't believe I put anything in. Okay, so now for the savings. I know I definitely did 20. I don't think I put anything for emergency fund and I don't remember doing anything for the 52 week challenge. At least I don't have it written down. If I did, I'll put it somewhere in the video, but for the time being, nothing was done, so let's let's see what happened total income see what the numbers come out to be I'm gonna put my total expense 645 28 plus 948 49 plus 20 
plus 1505.04. Whoa. 3011.881. It's going to be in the negative, guys. So, income minus expenses. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Mind you, I did take. Ugh. So, my total comes out to be negative $339.92. That is an ugly, ugly number, guys. But I did take money from my savings for my some of these transactions here. That's why I'm not like neg negative, negative in my bank account. But, oh, I did so terribly with my experience variable expenses guys uh, I mean thankfully I had my savings but I shouldn't have taken money out for personal and eating out uh, you know what September is done October is a new month you just have to improve so I'm gonna try to look on the bright side of things I got my car refinanced I put a huge chunk of money towards my new car not my new car, my new car loan. So I'm technically a month ahead right now. I'm going to be paying off more money towards the car and getting that balance down, which is a major good thing. I mean, I know I could have used that 760 to pay off all my debt, but I'd honestly, I would rather be ahead on my car than anything else just because I want to pay that off quick. That takes a huge chunk of money from my regular payments. Now, if I'm not planning to, I'm not planning to, you know, pay off my car quicker, but those paychecks came from my car, my from CarMax, so I'd rather put it towards this and be done with it. And I paid off Firestone this month, so. Those are two great things that I did this month besides going over, but we're not going to think about that. We're going to start fresh, start new, and hopefully we never have to think about this again. Yes. <laughs> so now on to my next debt. <sighs> yeah, we're not going to think about this again. <sighs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know uh, I did not enjoy this video. I did not like seeing those totals, but it had to be done. If you enjoyed the video or just seeing my numbers, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to join my YouTube family, please subscribe. I would love it if you were part of it to see how I tend to go overboard on certain categories. So. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.